Did you hear that the girl with the dragon tattoo may have found their Elizabeth Salander? That Will Smith and Pedro Almodovar are picking fights at the Cannes Film Festival? What about Emma Stone battling a chauvinistic Steve Carell in the Battle of the Sexes first trailer? No? You're still a feminist, right? I'm a tennis player who happens to be a woman. We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the biggest news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 3. Claire Foy frontrunner to play Elizabeth Salander in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo sequel. I've never done this before. Looks like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo sequel is close to inking a deal with the Crown star Claire Foy to play Elizabeth Salander. The Crown has landed on my head. Although Sony has yet to announce anything, sources close to the project say that she is the top choice to replace Rooney Mara in The Girl in the Spider's Web. I know. There is one small problem, however. It's possible that nothing has been made official because insiders are also saying that Foy is in talks with La La Land's Damien Chazelle to star alongside Ryan Gosling in First Man, the story of Neil Armstrong's journey to becoming the first man to walk on the moon. What? Come on! <laughs> While Sony looks to bring in Foy, they already have horror director Fede Alvarez locked in to direct, who's worked on critical successes Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. How many of you are there? The girl in the spiderweb's next move, replacing Daniel Craig who played journalist Mikhail Blomqvist. I like working with you. I like working with you too. Number 2. Fox Searchlight drops Battle of the Sexes trailer. I love women, in the bedroom and in the kitchen. Not only does Emma Stone's Billie Jean King battle it out with Steve Carell's Bobby Riggs on the tennis court in this biopic comedy drama. My name's Bobby and I am an addict. She also combats sexism. The more nonsense you spell, the worse it's gonna be when you lose. Fox Searchlight released the first trailer to Battle of the Sexes, and it is chock full with playful, albeit chauvinistic jabs. I am not saying that women don't belong on the court. Who would pick up the balls otherwise? Oh my god. The film follows the story of tennis star Billie Jean King in the 70s, a feminist icon of the time who fought for equal prize money for female players. She's goaded by retired former number one ranked Bobby Riggs, who identified as a male chauvinistic pig, to play a tennis match in order for him to prove that men are superior to women in sport. Male chauvinist pig versus hairy leg feminist. Stone and Carell look amazing in the trailer, and with an awards friendly release of September 22nd, the Oscar winner and nominee could be looking at gold come February. Let's see. No, I'm done talking, let's play. The battle of the before we get to our final entry, be sure to check out these new releases. I never left my family. I left myself. Unshackled. I'll become the Howard Wakefield I was meant to be. Number 1. Will Smith and Pedro Almodovar fight it out on Can Jury. On the opening day of the festival, Can Jury member Will Smith ruffled a few feathers, more specifically, those of Jury President Pedro Almodovar. The two sparred over Netflix and the role it's playing in the consumption and distribution of film. You wouldn't understand. I personally don't perceive that the Palme d'Or should be given to a film that is not seen on the big screen, Amadovar said. Oh, hell no. Smith replied, in my home, Netflix has had absolutely no effect on what my kids go to the movie theater to watch. This year marked the first time Cannes has allowed Netflix originals to be part of the festival, with two movies in competition for the Palme d'Or, The Mayorowitz Stories and Okja. And most importantly, they need to taste f***ing good. But the festival changed its tune by introducing a new rule where all competition films have to have a French theatrical release date, essentially barring Netflix production since they don't have any. Do me a favor, keep that kind of shit to yourself. Awards will be handed out closing night, May 28th. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.